Welcome back everyone. I'm sat here at uh, the Lost Ark in Raida. I'm about to start my walk from Raida through to Kangavelt, which is an RSPB reserve, uh, which rises to about 465 metres and is surrounded by ancient Celtic Cecil Woodland. Beautiful area. And then I'm going to drop back down from Kangavelt and I'm going to cross the Elan and back into Raider. But I wanted to start my walk here at the Lost Ark because I had such a great night here last night. Uh, for those of you that don't know the Lost Ark, the Lost Ark is a venue in Raider which was started by Paul and his wife. And forgive me, I forget his wife's name, but I met her last night. I'll put her name up on screen. So yeah, uh, I had a great night here last night. There was a charity event for um, a blood courier charity. I, I forget the name of the charity. I'll contact the, the Lost Ark and uh, put the relevant details up on screen or down below guys. But yeah, so I came back after my walk yesterday. I did another walk yesterday and um, said I'd come back in the evening uh, to support the charity the event and it kicked off. It was a fantastic night. Um, lots of dancing. The place was full. The band was brilliant. Uh, Lucky Pierre the band was. So yeah, I don't, I'm not sure whether they're online or not, but Lucky Pierre, a fantastic female lead vocalist and uh, yeah, a good all round band. So I had a great night and I had a really wonderful chat with Paul, the owner, and everyone was friendly, uh, made one or two connections, it was really good. So I'm starting my walk off here today. I'm just going to head on off out, going to cross the bridge over the Y and step onto Route 81 of the uh, National Cycle Network, which uh, 113 miles of which um, stretches from between Shrewsbury and Aberystwyth, and it takes you through the Elam Valley and the Cambrian Mountains. So yeah, we're in a great part of the world, the eastern fringe of the Cambrian Mountains, and it should be a good day. All right, guys, that's me from the Lost Ark, a fantastic venue, so if ever you're in Raider, uh, do pop along to this venue and there's a cafe here as well so you can have you can have lunch you can have a cup of coffee or whatever it is you're looking for all right guys I'll catch you up so we've just uh, left Raider and stepped onto what's known as the Ellen Valley Trail it's an eight mile trail which starts in Raider and uh, takes you to the Ellen Valley Reservoirs and it follows the old Birmingham Corporation railway line. Now this line would have brought all the materials to the construction site for the Ellen Valley Reservoirs in the Cambrian Mountains uh, which started construction in about 1885 something of that nature and finished in about 1905. So yeah, a leafy route into the Elan Valley, but we're not, we're not stopping on this trail. We're going to be stepping off in about a mile and a half. All right, I'll bring you back. Lovely view of the Elan there as we uh, head on up to Kangavelt. We've stepped off the Elan Valley Trail now and it's really quiet. We're into the back roads now and uh, we'll be walking this road for a short little period and then steadily walking upwards. Yeah, getting quieter now. This is where I begin to relax, just let go. Let it all go and let all that beautiful nature flood in. Gwasteddin Hill. Hills can be big, they can border on mountains. We're heading that way. 
Yeah, I often think that. These hills are so big and bulbous, they kind of border on mountains. And they can leave you feeling that sense of awe. I love them. We've got another old one. Can I ask you your name, Gareth? Oh, yeah, Gareth. Yeah, Gareth Edwards. I'm just meeting Gareth Edwards, guys. <laughs> and he's sharing me, uh, he's doing metal detecting right now. But he, he's from this farm. What's the farm's name, Gareth? Planner Vatlin. Right, pronounce that again. Planner Vatlin. Planner Vatlin. Yeah. Okay. So I think in, in English it's Apple Tree Grove or something like oh, that. Oh, lovely, like yeah. that. Anyway, guys, he's sharing with me some coins he, he's found metal detecting. And this one's a gold sovereign. I'm not, what's the date of that, Gareth, do you think? Uh, it's, it's a half gold sovereign, and I'm trying to remember that one. It was, it's around... 1700, no? That's 1860 or something like Is that, it? I think. Right. But these ones are older. There's... Yeah, I'll put that back in there, look. Yeah. yeah. Hold on. You found some older ones. Uh, I, bet, I bet you got a real buzz out of it, didn't you? Yeah, you find I, them? yeah. definitely. It's nice to find them. Yeah, let's have a look at this one. That's one there. That's a William. Yeah, oh right, so that's 1600s, is it? Uh, that, I can't, I haven't got my glasses on there now, but is it William III, I think? Oh, why? I, I might have got that wrong. I can, this is off the farm still? This one was off, this one was on a metal detecting dig, but the other two here. Right. This was off the farm, so. Oh, I see. That's the Definitely. first one. That's, oh, wow, look at that. That's 1575. Is there a coat of arms on that? Yeah. Is it? Let's have a look. Wow, check it out guys. It was fascinating seeing these coins. It was really kind of Gareth to share them with me. I don't often get the chance to see coins like this, you know, I'm not a metal detector. So yeah, it was really good to chat on the doorstep there. We carried on the conversation and talked about the farm and, you know, the, the uh, outbuildings and the function of them uh, back in the day and farming uh, farming methods this time of year, you know, bringing the sheep down off the hills. And yeah, I had a good old time on the doorstep. But of course, I couldn't stop. Uh, and so with that, I said goodbye. Hey, thanks for that, Gareth. No worries. Absolutely brilliant, mate. Yeah, shake your hand there, look. Hello to you all. <laughs> all right, yes, definitely. <laughs> there you go, guys. That's Gareth. And uh, Hlach. Hlach of Athlin. Hlach of Athlin. <laughs> all right, so we're heading up towards there, guys. It's just a bit out of the wind here. It's getting windier as we get higher. But yeah, Gareth back there, a uh, lovely guy. Really enjoyed that. That was a good meeting, Gareth. Cheers for your time there, mate. Um, really fascinated in relation to the coins and the farming. As I said to you, my grandparents were farmers in North Herefordshire, so yeah, I resonate with the farming community. So yeah, thanks for your time. All right, guys, we're heading on up and we're having a great day. So this is like micro navigation, guys. This is what you've got to look out for. We've just, whoops. We've just come from Gareth's farm there. We've handrailed the stream. Now this is where it can get tricky because there's so many field boundaries. And what it looks like on the map isn't what it looks like on the ground. But you notice there's a track there which crosses the stream. And this goes, this, this right way goes straight on up to this next property here. So, it's that feature we're looking for, this track, in order to guide us forward. And that's exactly what we find here. That's the track crossing the stream. The stream is down there. And we need to go straight on up. The stream is in that gully here, so we handrail, we still handrail the, the stream. And that's clearly marked on the OS map. So yeah, just keeping your eyes open, there's the track that's marked on the OS map and the stream, it crosses over, but we carry on up. Wow. 
fantastic view. We're looking towards Nant Gwynlin, the Nant Gwynlin Falls, away in the distance there. Now, the right of way is to my rear, but I just wanted to walk a few yards to share with you this property. Is it a bit cheeky coming onto the property here? Probably, but I get the feeling there's nobody here. This is an old, old hill farm. Look at this place, guys. Look at this place. Almost looks like an old Welsh longhouse, doesn't it? Obviously people come here. There's like uh, one of those steel fire pits there. But there's, no, there's, an old, there's an old milk churn in the distance. Yeah, this is old school. Look at that front fence. Probably used to be, yeah, it's an old flower. Pe people were proud once, weren't they? Whoever lived here had pride. But yeah, I just wanted to share this with you. This is probably 1700s. Most likely they lived with their livestock here, back in the day. But I, I, I imagine this is a holiday home, maybe a, some kind of a retreat, because there's no road up here. There's absolutely no road, it's just dirt track. What a place. Yeah, I'm gonna have a sit down. And have a bit to eat and enjoy them views. Spectacular views. Yeah, it just started raining, so I put my uh, Rab Downpour Eco Jacket on. Yeah, I've got the Downpour Eco Jacket on, and uh, I've recently reproofed it. Just, uh, well, in the last week, in fact, with uh, some Nick Wax Tech Wash and Nick Wax, yeah, uh, is it TX Direct, I believe? I'll put it on screen. But yeah, first initial impressions of the reproofing are really good. It's starting to bead again. But the thing is, with this jacket, and I'll do a full review at some other time, because it's a bit windy today, is that it's 20,000 hydrostatic head. And in the first few months, the beading disappeared. And I thought, ah, 100 quid, 20,000 hydrostatic head, is it gonna remain waterproof? And yeah, it did. I'm really impressed with the jacket, but as I say, I'll do a full review some other time. Just coming up through this Cecil Oak woodland. I really do love Cecil Oak woodland. They're really gnarly. Lots of mosses and lichens, and their branches are all bent out of shape. Weathered, weathered I say. Yeah, beautiful. So we're on the trail and we're not far from the top of Gamalt. We're just coming onto the tops now. Yeah, never bored on these walks. Lots of interest. Wow, check the view out down there. It's just a profile, that long line. In actual fact, what I'm looking at is Gamalt in the distance, way in the distance which is where I camped at the beginning of the year. Upper Wye Valley Camp, if you check out the link above and down below. Yeah, the Wye Valley is that way. <clears throat> There's some interesting properties up here. Bulk cock, bulk cock, B-W-L-C-H, which means pass, bulk, pass. I just thought I'd get down out of the wind. Uh, I can see the summit 
from here. I wasn't going to do the summit today, but I'm just going to investigate. It's about a kilometre away. Uh, I didn't want to add 2k to my route because my ankle and my shin, but yeah, my leg feels okay. So yeah, I'm just going to check out the summit. Uh, I, I feel like bagging it. Uh, and yeah, I, I think about Adam on this one. Uh, if any, any of you know Adam Radford, uh, he's a fantastic hill walker and I'd like to give Adam a shout out. Hi Adam, we're, we're here on Kong Velt and I wasn't going to summit but I'm thinking of you mate because uh, you would most definitely want to summit it. So uh, yeah, I might give it a go. Yeah, I can see it's a kilometre away. Uh, I don't think I've got the map to cover that section but you know, I'm not going to lose my way, I can see it. So yeah, just a shout out to you guys. And if you don't know Adam, I'll put a link to Adam's channel down below and up above. Uh, a really wonderful guy. Um, I, I laugh with Adam, in fact, because he's, he's got a sense of humour. He's a bit like uh, Solitary Rambler. He's, he's got a good sense of humour, and I like the way he, he explores the hills. And he's been everywhere in the Breckens, and he's just touching on Mid Wales now. All right, so I'm going to summit... I think I'm going to summit this hill. I think I've got enough time. Okay, I'll bring you back. Yeah, the summit is through there. Let's go. wind a bit and uh, we're dropping down off Kanker Belt. <clears throat> I didn't actually summit in the end. You saw the top, a storm had rolled in, the winds had picked up. Uh, I got to the base, I couldn't find a way onto the summit. Uh, it was just covered in uh, chest height bracken like this. Just covered in chest height bracken. I couldn't find a way onto it. So uh, I'd need to come back and spend a day, spend an afternoon just uh, sussing out what the path is and where the path is or if not just wading through through bracken but not today uh, the uh, rain began to become somewhat horizontal and uh, yeah it just wasn't the right time and right conditions all right sorry about that Adam didn't sum it for you <laughs> another day yeah this is a really pleasant stretch off Karnkevelt as you head towards Rada. You got the Y down below. You got Gamalt. No, not Gamalt, sorry guys. Guasteddin Hill that is. Guasteddin Hill. I like Gamalt, but that's not Gamalt. Guasteddin Hill that is. So yeah, and there's that cottage that me and Andy visited whilst we were on the uh, Y Valley Walk. Right in there. I'm going to take a look. It looks as though it's boarded up now and there's some holes in the roof so I think the weather's getting in. Yeah, it's got a new padlock on it. Uh, when I came here first, yeah, uh, what was I doing? Oh, that's right, I was walking the LM River, the River Elan, back in 2018. You could just about see through the door. The, well, in actual fact, there was a. This is a different door. This is a different door, even. This is a heftier door. This is not the original door. Here's the original door. Yeah, so that's the original door. There was a letterbox. I could see through the letterbox. And then when Andy and I came, there was no padlock on it at all. Uh, we could we walked around the cottage. We we got a really good feel for it on the Y Valley Walk. 
It's a lovely old place. Probably one of the only few people that have been, actually been in this cottage. So somebody's come back and there, there are some security conscious owners here. Yeah, love it when paths turn into rivers. Beautiful little path. A yeah, little beauty through there. Let's carry on down the path. Yeah, that was super nice down that river of a path. Heading for the Elan now. Yeah, it's a rocky one this this bridge over the Elan. Yeah, it's nice and sheltered here, so I'll finish the vlog here. Uh, it was too windy near the Elan confluence with the Y, and uh, yeah, too windy on the bridge. So here's a nice sheltered spot. We've just spent the last half an hour speaking with Viv, who owns the property near the Elan confluence with the Y. Absolutely fantastic conversation. We talked about the Welsh language, talked about the hills talked about his property, talked about weather and climate because his property is really wet, talked about trees. He just latterly showed me a tree he planted in 1984. It's a fern and it is massive. It's just shot up. Yeah, so that was absolutely fantastic with Viv there. Um, brilliant walk from start to finish, from the Lost Ark all the way through to Karn Kavalt, uh, meeting Gareth on the tops there, I didn't summit. It was too windy, it was too wet, I couldn't find the path onto the summit. It was just chest high bracken, so yeah, I abandoned that one. Uh, paid a visit to the old cottage. Uh, Viv was telling me, uh, I asked him, I took the opportunity to ask him if uh, he knew anything about it, because he's lived here 45 years. And yeah, in the 1800s, it's listed as paupers owning the property and there was only three acres to the property. So yeah, uh, eventually it wasn't viable. And so that's why it's been empty for a long time and it's soaking wet up there anyway. Um, and the walk back down was fantastic. Uh, nice and steady. I wasn't in a rush, it was beautiful. There was a river, of, the path was a river and that was really pleasant. And then when I got to the confluence with the L and the Y, I met Viv. So yeah brilliant walk all told all right guys if you enjoyed that and you want to comment please do comment you know me i always get back to you uh if you want to like uh hit the like button it was um you know a beautiful walk in many areas the views as well i didn't mention the views the views were fantastic and the cecil oak woodland and yeah there was just so much to it and if you want to subscribe, please do subscribe, guys. Hit the button down below. Uh, it's always good to meet new people. All right, that's me. The, the Elan River is there. The confluence with the Elan and the Y. And Raider is just that way. Uh, I'm stopping here because, yeah, I like to walk into... Finish, finish the latter part of the walk uh, just as a, you know, as a personal, as a personal thing. Uh, pack the camera away. All right, guys, that's it. Take good care of yourselves and be well.